on. Hundred percent lock. Forty five seconds. CLCDR LC seventeen B launch enable flight. Flight. ATC three main power disable on. On. Thirty five seconds. Hydraulics go. Thirty seconds. T minus thirty seconds. Seconds. 15 seconds. Team out is 15. 13 seconds. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket on a Missile Defense Agency mission to demonstrate future space technologies. Chamber pressure levels. Good chamber pressure readings on the verniers and good symmetrical burn on the ground lit solid motors. 22 seconds into the flight. Still looking good. Altitude now about a half a mile. 32 seconds. Vehicle now passing Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Chamber pressure is beginning to decline on the six uh, ground lit motors, as expected. Seven seconds in, now passing max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. 55 seconds in, less than 10 seconds remain on our solid burn. Standing by for a solid SEP. And we have separation. Separation on the six solid motors. And we have a good ignition on the three airlet solids. Airlet solids four, five, and six coming up in chamber pressure. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch some 80 seconds ago, losing propellant uh, through burning at about 2,200 pounds per second. One minute, 35 seconds. Altitude now 16.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 41.9 nautical miles. Velocity 3,902 miles per hour. One minute, 45 seconds in. Symmetrical burn on the three airlit motors. Coming up on uh, 157 into the flight. About 10 seconds remaining now on the airlit motors. Standing by for burnout of the three airlit motors. And we have burnout. Standing by for SEP. And we have separation. Separation on three airlet motors, four, five, and six. Two minutes, 20 seconds in. Chamber pressure continuing to look good on the main engine. Chamber pressure beginning also looking good on the vernier engines. Good chamber pressures right where we want them to be. Main engine pitch and yaw steering now settling down as vernier engine uh, control also settling down at this time, looking good. Coming up on two minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Altitude of 39.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 122 nautical miles, velocity 6,764 miles per hour. Two minutes, 55 seconds. Good control on the main engine now and pitch and yaw. Very smooth ride on uh, the verniers as well. Passing three minutes, five seconds. Chamber pressure is holding very good in the main engine and in both verniers. About 1 minute 15 seconds remaining in first stage flight. We're passing 3 minutes 20 seconds into the flight. Altitude now passing 51 nautical miles. Downrange distance 195 nautical miles. Velocity 8,890 miles per hour. 3 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Less than 1 minute remains on first stage burn. Three minutes, 45 seconds, now passing an altitude of 58 nautical miles, downrange distance 251 nautical miles, velocity 10,674 miles per hour. Coming up on four minutes, mark four minutes into the flight, 
Less than a half a minute on main engine flight remaining. Less than a half a minute till Miko. Passing four minutes, 10 seconds. 15 seconds now remaining. First stage flight standing by for main engine cutoff. And we have Miko standing by for Vico. And we have Vico standing by for 1 2 SEP. And we have 1 2 SEP. And we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure beginning to rise. And we see fairing latch separation. Separation of the payload fairing. Four minutes, 57 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 79.9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 469 nautical miles. Velocity 14,011 miles per hour. Chamber pressure, good level in the second stage. Second stage pitch and yaw control of the uh, engine is good. That second stage chamber pressure is right where we want it to be. This uh, first burn of the uh, second stage should last a little bit under six minutes. We're about uh, one minute into that burn at this time. 